and welcome back to part two of lesson two of CNC late programming where we're going to be talking about how to use the G71 CAN cycle for OD and ID rough turning. Now in part one we discussed how to use the G71 CAN cycle for OD roughing. In this video we'll be talking about ID roughing. So let's take a look and see how they are different. And for this exercise we're going to be using a 3 inch diameter piece of stock, 4 inches long and we will have drilled a hole 1 inch in diameter to give us clearance for our boring bar to bore these 3 bores in the end of the part. Now the first thing we need to consider before we go into the G71 boring cycle is the initial start position and as you can see we are starting a hundred thousandths in front of the part lined up with the 1 inch diameter ID. Now we're going to work from the inside to the outside on this can cycle and we're going to be taking 80 thousandths per pass, retract 40 thousandths at the end of each pass and leave 30 thousandths on X for a finish pass and 10 thousandths on Z for a finish pass. So let's take a look and see what the tool paths look like. You can see it starts from the small diameter and works itself out to the larger diameter, retracts 40 thousandths at the end of each cut, comes back to the 100 thousandths clearance plane in front of the part and makes one final pass leaving 30 thousandths on X and 10 thousandths on Z. So let's take a look at the code and see how it's different from OD roughing. Alright, so here we're looking at the G71 CAN cycle used for the roughing operation in our previous illustration to machine these three bores in the end of the part. And let's start at the top of this program where we are positioning the tool in front of the part about a hundred thousandths in front of it at a safe clearance distance and even with the one inch ID that was drilled. Then we're going to get into our G71 CAN cycle and the first line tells the CAN cycle to do 80 thousandths depth to cut per pass and then retract 40 thousandths at the end of each pass and then it will retract back to the Z 100 thousandths in front of the part and continue that until we are completely roughed all the way to the largest diameter. So the second G71 line starts with two sequence numbers. The P10 refers to the N10 which is the start of the geometry and the Q11 refers to the N11 at the bottom of the geometry. Alright so the U-20. Now this is where you need to pay attention on the OD roughing cycle or G71 can cycle. If you want to leave excess on X that X will be a plus value. If you want to leave excess on the ID, this U, which is the incremental address for X, will be a minus value. So pay close attention to that. If you leave that plus, obviously it will make it too big. W is still the same as in the OD roughing. And that's going to leave 10 thousandths for finish on Z. Then of course the feed rate is put on this line and that's the feed rate used for this whole operation. Alright, so then the first line of the geometry, starting with N10, the first thing you do is put a GO, which means rapid, and the end point is put there first. X 2 inches 800 is the largest diameter of this operation, and so that goes first. Then the geometry follows from the top down, so Z minus 0.5, then the next diameter X 2 inches 250, and that goes to Z minus 1 inch 200 down to X 1 inch 5 over to Z minus 1 inch 750 and then at the smallest diameter is X 1 inch. So even though it starts from the smallest diameter to the larger diameter the code is actually written from the large to the small. Alright, and then you want to make sure that at the end, now here it kicks out of the G71 code, but the tool will still be up inside the part. So make sure that the very next move you make is a rapid move 
taken the tool back out to a safe distance. Now here I just put Z.1, but you can make it Z.5 or Z1 inch, whatever is a safe distance before it retracts in X. So you can see the CAN cycle for ID and OD roughing is almost identical, other than the U for the excess material left on X is going to be minus on ID and plus on OD roughing. And we're working from the large to the small instead of small to large on OD roughing. So those are the two major differences that you want to pay attention to. And that's it for this video. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so now, and we'll see you in the next video.